Hey everyone, this is David again with All Beach Everything, doing another plain tip for you to help you out with your beach game. And today I'm going to be covering footwork. Um, basically, this is going to be looking at how to release to the net during serve receive. So, what we're going to be looking at in this play is the player on the left side here. He's the one that's going to be setting in this play. So, what's going to be happening is set comes the serve comes into play and he immediately starts to release towards the net anticipating that the pass is going to be somewhere in this area right around in front of his partner and as I run through this play I'll stop it right there you see that he got, got all the way up to the net had to take one step back just to adjust to the pass being a little bit more towards the middle than he thought it was going to be now you may not think that this is a big deal, it's just one step, he was able to get there in time. But moving while you're setting the ball is very risky. It um, definitely makes it much more likely for you to actually double the ball. Um, plus, as you're moving backwards in that play, it's going to make it tougher for you to push the ball all the way out to the outside shoulder of the hitter in this instance. So, on the beach, you want to be absolutely set and square to your target as you're setting the ball. You don't want to be taking extra steps or making last adjustments. You want to be as sturdy as possible. That way you know that you're going to come out with a clean set. You're not going to double and you're going to be very, very accurate and get exactly where your partner needs it to be. The last thing you want is to try and figure out if you're going to get there in time, if your hand's going to be ready, whether to bump set or not. So make sure that you get there in time and you're perfectly square to your target. Now, how we do that is not by cheating on the play and trying to anticipate where the pass can be. So this might be a little bit counterintuitive. Instead, to ensure that we get there in time with our feet set and square, is we are actually going to wait on the pass for a brief fraction of a second, really, just to see where the pass is going to initially look like it's going to end up as well as get a feel for whether or not our partner seems to have a beat on it if it looks like they're going to make a solid pass out of it. So what this player should have done and what you really should do every play that you have in which your partner takes the serve is instead of running up towards the net, instead all you have to do is just square your hips and your shoulders towards your partner so that way you're just going to take your outside hip and you're just going to square them in that's not really good. Let's try that again. You're just going to square your hips in towards your partner. So that way if this line I'm going to draw is like your hips to your shoulders, they should be pretty much parallel to that sideline you're facing. They can be a little bit uh, angled in just so you can give yourself a better uh, angle to run up to the net. But even having them just completely parallel to the sideline is a totally fine starting position. From there, once you kind of judge if your partner is going to get to the spot in time on the serve, that's when you can start to at least converge towards the net. And as you see where he's at least pointing with his platform, that's where you can start to go a little bit further. And as the ball gets up in the air, you get a feel for where it's going to be, go a little bit further. So by this point, you know exactly where the ball is going to be, and you didn't have any wasted steps. Um, I call this surrounding the pass or surrounding the play, because starting out from all the way back here, you have this large radius that you get to work with by simply opening up to your partner. Instead of coming in partially and then seeing, oh no, the pass is more towards the middle and having to stop your momentum, get your body moving in another direction, it's a lot easier to first stand back and make a slightly curved route and sort of, instead of trying to make a direct route and then having to make a sharp cut either up the court or back from where you initially thought you were going to end up. Um, this is also very important for your setting form um, as well because this allows you to square up to this outside pin here and by doing this, not only does it allow you to kind of push the set all the way out to give your partners much space to work with, but also as you get into your setting position, I get to right here, 
you see how he's basically squ completely square to the sideline here, completely parallel to that. Now you see the defender on the other side of the court. He's basically right in line with them. So chances are that he won't be able to see him out of the corner of his eye as he's setting this ball. If he were square or lined up with the pin here slightly on an angle, he would probably be able to see the defender out of the corner of his eye. And all it would take was just one little turn of the head to see both the blocker and the defender and be able to give a quick call to his hitter so that way he can execute and side out right away. Instead, set goes up and hits right into the defense. So it's little things like this that allows you to take a one or two points away from the team and basically uh, instead of turning them into errors or points for the other team, you get to turn them into points for your team. It's little things like this that you need to pay attention to as you're developing as a young player or as you're transitioning into the beach game, which really separate the good teams from the great teams. It's all about managing risk um, and eliminating errors as you're developing. Later, you're going to work more on execution, athleticism, and just overall trickiness and doing some amazing things um, out on the court. Um, but until then, get these fundamentals down. I'm going to be posting a few more videos um, in relation to footwork, like peeling off the net, uh, transition defense, stuff like that. So if you want to check out more of that, go to allbeacheverything.blogspot.com.